hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome to the new episode, the new season of the Youth Academy Career Mode. It is season three now, beginning, and I believe we're 16 episodes in so far, so I've been really enjoying my time, and I hope you guys have been enjoying your time on this series as well as we step up to the plate today and we take on the second Bundesliga yes we have made it into the second Bundesliga finally and we'll be playing against the likes of Sao Paulo we'll be playing against the likes of Bochum, Nuremberg, Düsseldorf so many different teams that have now entered the scene for us or I should say we have entered their scene a bunch of teams that used to be in the main in the first Bundesliga as well but the likes of Paderborn is in there with Karlsruhe SC as well in that position so lots and lots of teams that are actually squads with history and we are stepping in as a new and fresh club built off of youth academy talents and we are ready for a new season if you are as well make sure to hit that like button on this video let's start off the new season with three freaking thousand likes okay let's do this three thousand i believe you can do it and of course if you are new make sure to subscribe down below now as you guys know, we have the scouts set up. We have three scouts, five star, five star. Don't have to spend any more money on them. We get a scout report on the 8th, on the 18th, and on the 25th throughout these months. Uh, and we have 9 million to spend. As you guys know, in the new season, new free agents are generated by FIFA, and we are allowed to sign a maximum of three free agents every single time we jump in here. So into a new season. So we have that money to spend on some free agents. But before we do that, an important, important thing is to find out who has gone up in their potential. Now, I'm going to admit this. I actually thought about this before this man actually said it, but I'm going to leave it here on your screen once again. Jacob, our Youth Academy coach, says, Johnny, check on all your players' potential status so you can prior prioritize the players with higher potential after the recording of yesterday's episode, I straight away went into the new season and I checked out the potentials as well. So let me just show you guys what we have here. Ursoy has potential to be special. This guy can go above the 90 rating. That's basically what that means, lads. We have him as the front runner of our team with his rating 75 rated. Then Aguero, sadly, doesn't show any potential. Very shocked about that and a bit scared as well at the same time. That he's not going to be growing too much. Beteya coming in with great potential. Not too good. Up to an 85, I believe that goes. Then we have the contract of Onur Koch expiring soon. Hold on a second. That can't happen. We're going to ex extend that contract immediately. Ooh, no release clause, please. I mean, 8.4 mil. Uh, Yeah, hold on. Let me just get that release clause out of it. So 1K with no release clause and a four-year contract for Koch. So that has been signed instantly. He has continued his contract and he has potential to be special. There we go. That's the second one now with potential to be special in our team. A bit of a downer here. One of the Kaya brothers, uh, Edis Kaya, for example, he's not growing. And you guys have been saying that because he had that uh, uh, that tick right next to his name, that it actually meant that he kind of reached his potential and he's not going to be getting past it. Or at least he reached his potential in that development plan. Which is not really ideal, is it? It's not really ideal. By the way, I just realized I look way too dark in here. Let's light this room up a little bit. There we go. That looks better. Actually, that looks way too overexposed. Hold on a second, guys. Let me let me just figure out my lighting here, please. Thank you. Yeah, that's better. All right, we'll keep it that way. But yeah, Edis Kaya, 67 rated. Then we have Yunus Kaya with has potential to be special. Number three. Yes, three already. Rogerson has potential to be special. Number four in the starting lineup. Romero, number five. Five players with potential to be special. Aja coming in with the 67 rating now, showing great, great potential on him. Number six, my friends, our left back is a potential to be special player. So that is number six. Exciting prospect on my dad. Sadly, for some reason, he hasn't gotten the uh, max potential yet, but we can work on that in this season. 66 rated, exciting prospect, up to the 88 rating, I believe that goes. Osturun. Bit sad to see another one just like it is Kaya, not showing any type of potential on him. Barbosa, exciting prospect. 
Then we have Carrizo, our center back, showing great potential. Van Fleet also great potential for him. Distance and same goes for him. Shimshek as well. And we have a contract expiring once again. Let's fix this, fix this real quick. Here we go. 1.5k, no release clause, perfectly done. And it doesn't say anything. Maybe I have to back out and go back in. Is that what I have to do to be able to check out his rating again? Because it doesn't quite make sense here that I couldn't see it. I could see it with the other guy. Us. Uh, he's, oh, he's only at the club since... Okay. That's a bit disappointing. I mean, he's currently our captain uh, for some reason. Uh, oh, Soling's coming in with no potential as well. Vandenberg with only uh, showing great potential despite him actually having massive potential initially. Uh, but because he didn't play any games and he got brought into the team late into the last season, his potential got downgraded. But as Jacob said in one of the episodes in the past, when you do get your youth academy players into your team, you better get them in before January. Because if you do get them in after January, exactly this happens. This guy had at least exciting prospect on him, but he has now been downgraded. Emenzes, currently still loaned out, uh, 63 rated at this point in time. Haugland coming in with great potential. Chetin is on loan, as you guys know. Koch as well, Shahin as well. And then we have Alonso coming in with great potential. Halvor's insane with him. Exciting prospect on Diakite. I think he got an upgrade. Uh, then we have Kaimak on loan. Chang is, has come back from his loan deal. Not really a player that we are too keen on keeping around for a very long time because he's 61 rated, but we're going to extend his contract to be able to sell him on for a little bit. And again, it says at the club since 2020, so he's not really that high in potential. Same goes for the likes of Hoffman. I don't think these guys are worth anything uh, in this year, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and accept that deal. Exciting prospect on Moldo, so that is good. And then moving down the list a little bit further, Karklins, nothing on him. Great potential on that guy. And then Klavins, our helmet boy, coming in with the uh, no potential as well. So you can see we have six as potential to be special players in our squad at the moment. And all of them are in the starting lineup. Now that we've checked that out, though, it is time to go into the free agents, lads. It is time to check out what we have available for us. Up to the age of 19, I will be looking now for some young talents and put them onto the short list and check them out together with you. So as we go into the transfer hub, you will realize that we have a bunch of youth academy, uh, not youth academy players, but generated free agents. Uh, first of all, we have uh, Joel Arantes Maximiano. I think we had this guy in here already the last time around we went into this. He has great athleticism, decent defending, but we already have so many center backs. So I'm going to take him off of this list now. He is gone. Asale looks quality, by the way. Great haircut, first of all. Um, really good athleticism, good technical ability, and decent shooting. So he could be an option for us to bring in in this season. Then we have Ben Kemesa, who isn't really that great anymore for us. Um, I'm going to get rid of him of that list. Cuesta, obviously, I think we had this guy last season as well. And um, he still looks all right, but he, he isn't outstanding. Davies, same goes for him. We're going to get rid of him. He's not really interesting to us. Eastham has... Has he improved? I don't know. I'm not too sure. We had him last year as well. We're going to get rid of this guy as well, I believe. We're not going to go after him. Even though he does actually some, have some good stats. He does have... I'm going to keep him on there for now. This guy can go. He's not necessary for us. Garcia Torres... Great center attack in midfielder or slash CDM, actually. Not good enough for CDM for sure. His defending is awful. Technical ability is okay. His athleticism is kind of saving him here, so I'm going to get rid of him. Acero here coming in with great athleticism, good technical ability, and good passing. So quite comparable players here. And you would have to say that the uh, Mexican actually looks better um, than his counterpart from England. He has more athleticism and he has more passing as well. So we're going to get rid of Easton. He's not going to be an option for us. Akinlabi Park here. Look at these stats. Andres Akinlabi Park. I don't know what type of name that is. That seems like a very mixed up name here. Uh, sounds a bit like, I don't know. It reminds me of Andres Iniesta. And then Akinlabi kind of sounds African. I'm not too sure. And then Park it reminds me of Jisun Park. So this guy is like the most mixed up guy. <laughs> I like it though. 72 to 80, 82 athleticism. Great technical ability. His shooting is not that great. His passing is not that great. So we can work on that. He seems like a really good option for the position next to Rogerson. Diakite could then become a really good super sub for us. We don't have anyone on the bench that can actually play striker at the moment. So that would be a nice one to have. Bardini Panera here. Brazilian. Center midfielder, center attacking mid, left mid. 
Athleticism and passing is looking really good. Technical ability is good. Shooting is all right. Then we have a left back coming in and we have Campbell coming in as a Welsh center attacking midfielder. I think the one that I want to desperately get is this guy right here. Let's sign him up and see what his rating is. He could be quite high rated here. By the way, as I'm doing this deal, let's read through this comment here from Phoenix. And he says, roses are red, violets are blue. Who remembers Johnny's camera, which closed every minute or two? <laughs> I do. I do. I, I think people are kind of like missing that banter that we had in the video because the camera keep kept turning off. But this one, man, it's super reliable and I am in love with it. I have to admit, I really, really love this camera. He wants a release clause of 9.1 mil. Uh-huh. That kind of gives me hope here. But he's actually really high rated, guys. He might be like the highest rated player in our team in an instant. We're going to go ahead and offer him... I don't know. How much money do I have? I, I can offer you 2k. <laughs> Please? Can you accept? Oh, no. Oh, no. He hasn't accepted. I should have adjusted my wage budget. What did I do? I, missed, I might have just missed out on a massive talent, lads. Oh, mate. I messed up. I messed up big time. You know what? Because I messed up there, I'm going to move forward a few days. We have the preseason tournament coming up right now, guys. We're going to get past this here. Actually, before we do this, let me go into the Youth Academy and show you guys what we have available for the next season, for the upcoming season, I should say. We have a bunch of high-rated players here, right? We have Van der Felden, who's still 15 years old. Um, it's still a very much a possibility of him getting involved into the starting lineup soon. Uh, 83 to 89 potential, which means he's an exciting prospect. Afrifa, who we signed last season, um, is now looking pretty good as well. Uh, sadly, has dropped down a little bit in his in his developments, in his uh, potential, but we can fix that hopefully in this upcoming year. Uh, he's a left midfielder, so mainly we want that pace to go up. He has good dribbling anyways, but uh, I want that pace for a winger because in these leagues, if you can just run past people, it's going to be the most efficient way of doing things. Then we have Costa here, who has dropped down in his potential a little bit. Then we have Rude, 71 to 75. I think we're just wasting our time. So we have to get rid of some of these Youth Academy players to make some space for new ones coming in. Obviously, he's 61 rated, but I just don't see the point in uh, getting anyone like him in here. If he had a helmet, I would probably keep him. But right now, Rude is going to be going. He will not have, a spa have space in our team. And I'm basically just going to get rid of any talent that has dropped in potential way too much. So uh, Christy here as well. He's going to be gone. Um, so that's another one that we're going to be releasing. Chela as well, only up to an 83. Again, most of these guys seem to be from Albania, which is a bit of a, if a, of a letdown here that we are letting go of so many of them. And then the rest is just about fine. Up to 86 is okay, but lower than that, I will not accept in the Youth Academy. So here goes the preseason tournament. We don't necessarily need the money, so we can get through the entire preseason tournament at once. Uh, we will get a scat report on the 8th, though, so that's good. We might uh, get a first glimpse of what we will be able to achieve in this season in terms of the Youth Academy. So we're going to stop the sim there. Draw and a loss so far for ourselves. What do we have coming in here? We have a transfer offer coming in for Shimshek. Um, it is a full-on transfer offer. A right back that I was on loan and came back and looks incredible now. So we're going to be uh, blocking that offer. He's going to be staying with us. Can we start off the season with some incredible Brazilian talents? Can we do that? We're still looking for that one incredible, outstanding player. I've already seen in the comments, people are waiting for me to pick up like a 70 rated Youth Academy player. We haven't been able to find it yet. By the way, in my comments of the last episode, DQF actually said, Betea is left footed playing right back, Johnny. I had no idea he was. I had no idea. He is, what is it? What is this? What is his foot? Let me just quickly see this. Is he left or right footed? He is left footed. Oh my God. Um, he has a four-star weak foot, though. Let's improve that to a five-star weak foot, see how things go. And that way, we will make sure that he's definitely capable of playing in that position, even in the future. So, I like this. Thank you for letting me know. I appreciate you. Pre-season tournament to be finished and another scout report to come in. So, two draws and a loss was not enough for us to get into the next round of the pre-season tournament. So, sadly, uh, things didn't work out into our favor there. We do have a scout report coming in, though, for Maya. So, instantly, we have... 575k on Joachim Björk. 69 to 94 potential signed. Next one coming in. Nothing here. Next one coming in. Nothing here. 
73 to 94 potential. He doesn't look too bad, I guess. I mean, his rating is going to be way too low. I'm going to keep an eye on this guy continuously. Uh, then we have a next one coming in with 300k on his on his value. Someone actually said in the last episode that Ursoy came in at 200k value, apparently. So I still got to pay some attention to some of these talents that have high potential but low values um, uh, to then bring them into the squad and then potentially change their position to upgrade them massively. Now, we're going to try again with Akin Labi. I need to sign this kid instantly. Otherwise, some other team is going to pick him up. I'm going to be very upset. No release clause. Can he please ask for the wages? He doesn't ask for the wages. So I'm going to be offering 10k here, guys. I know it's a lot of money here, but he said he wants a release clause of 9 million initially. So 10k I know sounds like a lot, but if he is what he is supposed to be here, we could be finding ourselves an incredible player in Akin Lavi Park. Is he the one? Is he the one to take us to the next level alongside Roger Sin? It seems like he wants to sign the contract and he has done so. A free agent, the first free agent of the season from somewhere else's youth academy. He has come in and they didn't pick him up for some reason. And now we have him. Diakite, 63 rated. Akinlabi, 68. Oh my God. Yes. Oh, this is amazing. Hold on. Osolins, you're getting taken off here. Hold on, I messed up there. Um, someone else was supposed to be on the bench. Van Fleet is on the bench. Actually, Aja is 67 rated. I need to get him onto the bench, don't I? Um, Östorun. I'm sorry, pal, but your, your, your shooting is worse than Christensen and you don't have as much pace. And his weak foot is so much better. Östorun, I'm sorry, bro. You're going to drop to the bench here. Um, we have... Uh, to the reserves, I should say. And now we can fix this here. And we can take a look at the man that has now joined into that striking position. 68 rated. He is higher rated than Roger Sin, lads. He is automatically the third highest rated player in our team. Uh, alongside Romero, who is a 50, uh, 68 rated player as well. Akin Labi coming in four star skill moves. 88 pace. Oh my god. It is going to destroy the second Bundesliga. We have found the perfect player from the Youth Academy. Akin Labi Park is now one of the biggest players in this career mode. Some Youth Academy out there rejected him. We took him along us and he seems to be incredible. Get in, son. What a player. 74 dribbling, 88 pace. Great acceleration, amazing agility, great balance, 92 sprint speed, good stamina as well with good strength. Um, attack positioning, not that good. Ball control, curve, dribbling, solid, finishing, awful. So instantly we know what to improve on him. He has a four, he has a three-star weak foot as well, I believe. So instantly with Akin Labi Park, we know what to do. We know what to do. It's all about the finishing going up, right? Uh, the finishing, attack positioning, all that good stuff shows great potential as well. Um, we need to get the get the finishing up. So. Either we go with something like this, right? With complete striker to improve his weak foot as well. Um, I think that's the way to go, actually. His composure is quite bad as well. And this is the only thing that improves composure as far as I believe. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Here we go, guys. We have found ourselves potentially an incredible player that's going to be here forever. Let's freaking go. So after finding one incredible player from the free agents, let's get the second one signed. Who is it going to be? We don't really play with wingers, but this guy seems to be have, having some really good stats on him. I think Bardini Pereira here looks very impressive. I mean, he has the most well-balanced out stats out of all these players from the midfield. Or we could go for Cameo Perez to bring him in as a backup for our left back position. He doesn't seem too bad in that case. And then Campbell as a sensei attacking midfielder. I think I'm going to go for Bardini Pereira right here. Panera right here, guys. This is the one that I want to bring in. He seems like the most well-rounded player that could be subbed in in any position. And I'm not too keen on the rest of the players. Um, so we might not sign three this season. We might just go for two for now. Uh, we're going to go for sporadic on him. Hopefully, he'll accept that if that's fine. Oh, wow. He wants to be an important first team player. That's a bit much, no? Oh, wow. He really wants... Okay. Now, this gives me some good vibes here. The fact that he's requesting to play uh, in that spot for us is telling me that he, that he might be high rated. Bardini Panera. Let's make, make sure to sign you as well. Let's not miss out on you. Please ask for the wages. I beg. He doesn't ask for the wages. Well... I'm going to go for 5k on this one. Come on, please sign. 5k. Come on. Yes. All right. There we go. 5k. Bardini Pereira. Panera. Not Pereira. I will keep on messing this up all the time. 
he has signed with us now. Let's see what his rating is. What is he looking like? How high is he rated? Bardini, where are you? He is a centre mid, wasn't he? There he is. 66 rated. Exciting prospect. Okay, now that makes a lot of sense. 80 pace on him. Oh my God. Hold on, guys. Wow. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We might have to find the right solution for this man here. He already has the maximum pace, so to say. We might as well go with the playmaker. Or we go with something that improves his defending and his physicality. Mm. Or his dribbling even more. His dribbling is kind of good already, actually. I think I want to go with the playmaker, man. I think that's what I want to go for for now. Improve his passing a lot as well. And then we can change things to different things later on. His weak foot was, will go up with this as well. Yo, we might have to think about putting Bardini into the team as well. Uh, this is tough. This is putting me into a really, really tough spot, guys. We have some really good players right now. Just about the same rating. And that is, that is tough to deal with. Even my dad is on a 66 rating, as you guys know. An exciting prospect himself as well. Out of the six players with uh, showing great, uh, not great potential, with potential to be special, Romero is the only player that actually currently is not playing. Um, and that is a bit of a letdown, isn't it? Because he's such a good player. Now, we need to figure out where he would actually be good. Like, we need to find out if we can fit Romero into any other position in the team. Minus 53 as a goalkeeper. Minus 10 as a right back. Minus 14 there. Minus 5 as a center mid. Uh, minus 3 as a cam. It, it just doesn't look good for Romero, does it? I would love to fit him in somewhere, but I don't know where. I mean, he would probably play better than this Kaya, but... He just doesn't have any defending. Like, absolutely no defending on him. Is that what I want in that centre midfield position? Not really. I mean, this Kaya has much better defending than the other one anyways. But we have to find a way on fitting Romero into the team. But the 4 one 2 one 2 has been so good to us. I'm kind of scared of changing things up at the moment. And I think... Hold on. I think we might have to send one of the scouts away. Yes, we do. So here we go. Where do we go this time around? I've seen... I've looked through the comments once again. And there was a big shout for Canada. So we're going to send our scout to Canada. Hopefully, Tony Han will find us something good. Some of these countries have not been good for us. And hopefully, Canada is going to be one of them good ones. And here comes the first game of the second Bundesliga, guys. This is the moment you have been waiting for. I'm sorry, Diakite. We have a new beast in town and he's taking over your position for now. You're going to be subbed on uh, for sure. But Akin Labi Park is taking his position. Rogerson has a five-star weak foot, so he can play on that left-hand side. Akin Labi actually is left-footed, so we're going to change it up. Rogerson going to be our right striker. He can actually play left-back. <laughs> I completely forgot about that, by the way. Rogerson can play left-back. He has a minus 17 there. I mean, come on, bro. That was such miss... Uh, misrated uh, uh to begin with it's incredible to see but i can be on the left rogerson on the right so behind them the kaya brothers in midfield and you know what i think it's time i think it's time to put my dad into the starting lineup guys it's happening now our first match in the second bundesliga i don't know what to expect i'm just hoping that it's gonna be a great game uh, this man here, Park, is coming in with some nice shoes himself. I saw it. Akin Labi. He steps up to the pitch. It's our first match in the second Bundesliga, guys. A dream has come true. And hopefully, it's going to be a great season for us where all of our players grow. It might start off a little bit tough. But I am in full belief that this team could maybe, just maybe, somehow fight for promotion. I don't know if it's going to be happening. It's a dream of mine to get this team into the into the Bundesliga, but it's going to be tough. Uh, with the ratings that we have right now, to be able to compete with the top teams is going to be hard, but hopefully down the line... Akin Labi Park! Oh, that's a terrible pass. Hopefully down the line, we can make things happen for us. Smith instantly loses it there. That's not too good, is it? This pitch has a weird pattern, man. It looks so sharp. I don't know what it is, but the pitch, like... It looks way too sharp in my eyes. Here they come now. Oh my god, this passing is unstoppable. Stop him. Smiths, there we go. Potential to be special player right there. Shows you what he got. Rogerson asking for the run. We need runs down the right as well. Ussoy now. Oh my god. Dad, what are you playing for a pass there, man? That's horrific. St. Pauli, come through. Uh, it's the, just about Cariso puts a, puts a foot in there to get the interception. 
We got to use the right back position a little bit more. I need Rogerson to make that run for me. Rogerson, can you actually get to that? He nearly did, you know. He nearly did. Akinlavi over to Rogerson. He doesn't seem too dribbly. Go on, Dad. Can you smack it into the top in? Oh, yes, he can. He can. He's the first one to score a goal in the second Bundesliga. Get in, boys. What a beginning into the season. Put him into the starting lineup and he puts it into the top left corner. What a finish. Mate, he is actually sick. <laughs> this makes me happy. Go on then, Dad. Well done. Well done. What a finish. Koch, well done. I can lobby make that running behind. Koch is too slow. All right, one thing I got to work on, guys. Um, after this game is done, I need to put Koch on a box to box because or whatever it is that upgrades his pace because his pace is abysmal. Oh, that's great passing here. They are still holding on to this nicely just outside the box and we do get it away now with Koch again. Look, he has good acceleration but terrible sprint speed. Akin Labi, first first goal for the team. Left foot it, remember Johnny. Left foot it. San Pauli is down 2-0. Akin Labi has scored his first goal for the team. Watch him do the Matuidi celebration. Yeah. Come on. He is the new man in town. He is the new super talent that we found ourselves. One of the highest rated players, or actually the highest rated player that we have signed. And he steps up straight away. Akin Labi on his left foot. Bottom left corner. No chance for the keeper. And that's how it should be. That is exactly how it should be. Get in, boys. I do wonder if Sampali is going to be responding to this. I mean, we have done really well here with the first initial chances. We got two goals straight away within the first 30 minutes. That is a very good sign. And we go into the second Bundesliga and they mess up. Rogerson. Rogerson. Lobbing it. Ah, why did I lob it? Why am I not just taking a regular shot, man? I'm just trying to score fancy goals just, I'm like, just because I'm like 2-0 up. Cariso. Cariso. Ah, he's not going to get that, is he? Okay, that's some good passing. Koch gets a great tackle in. Cariso to move it away. We tried to play down the wing, but they defended very nicely. That's an imp impressive skill here. Now it is Haas, I believe, chasing it down. Haas, go on, keep on. Keep on pushing him. Keep on pushing him, Haas. Well done. A chance for our opponents. And that is Smeets. Well done, Smeets. And there is an injury. Yeah, this guy is, has been laying on the ground for like half an hour now. He's gone. Baumgartl is taken off. Hold up. Koch. Ah, that should have been his. How does he not? What? No, stop. Yes, they hit the post. Oh, come on, mate. Haas. He's like literally right in front of you. How does he score that when he's behind you all the way? Look at this. Haas has to get that away, mate. He's just like... Uh, slowly moving over there rather than just swiftly moving in. He's like stuttering. What is he doing? Soy has an opening. There goes. Go on, Dad. Can he bang it in from there as well? Oh my God, it actually would have gone in. I'm not even kidding. That would have gone in. Cariso, you're good on headers, aren't you? Cariso, Cariso. Whoa, 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 whoa. He tried. Oh, here they come. Oh, yep, they're through. They're through. Cariso, the only man to stop this team so far. Well done, Cariso, man. Incredible. Incredible from him so far in this game. And Rogerson might be through here if we play it into the right position. Rogerson now has some space. Going to play it back inside. And that's a horrible pass. Oh, that's a cross and a half. That is a cross and a half. Let's go, Aguero. Well done, man. I need him to step up there. 70th minute. We're going to make some changes and probably bring on some of the fresh lads uh, here with Diakite coming in for Rogerson. We're also going to be bringing on Romero because he's going to be exceptional. Um, he is a player that we need to put a lot of time into because of, of his uh, potential that he has now. Um, another player that we can probably bring on. Who else can we bring on? We can bring on Halvorsen as a... Uh, actually, do we? Yeah, we can bring him on as a CDM. Halvorsen comes on as a CDM, guys. Let's see what he does in that position. Is he actually high, highly rated there? Minus one to minus three. So he actually isn't the CDM, but we're going to use him there now. Good passes inside the box. San Pauli. Smith's trying to stop it, and Smith does ever so well. We can't rely on our defenders constantly getting their feet in, man. We got to get this third goal. There's a run from Diakite. Diakite off the bench. This is what I want to see from you, pal. Does he have skills? He does. He shoots and he doesn't score. He doesn't score. Man, he doesn't even hit the target. 
I'm not enjoying this one bit. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Dude, I double pressed it. He should have stood up way, way earlier. And it is Aguero making a big save. As San Pauli are very close to scoring. But so. Not there yet. Smith gets it. And Diakite on the run. This game has turned out to be much harder than I expected it to be. It started off so well. But San Pauli have been doing really, really good in terms of getting back into this game. And I'm just doing stupid things here. Losing the ball for no reason. Ah, oh, mate. No, I tried to... I tried to do the offside trap. Cut it. So let's go, man. What a player he is. What a player. Oh, no. He's through anyways. Mate, Cariso did so well. He literally did so well. And San Paoli come back. It's 2-2. Two -two. Uh, it's not the beginning to the season that you want, is it? I mean, it started off so nice. We had a goal of Akinlabi. The new transfer had scored a goal. And now we have conceded a very unnecessary one. Late into the game. Very disappointed, man. 90th minute goal celebrations coming in for our opponents as well. Diakite, I just literally just tried to run through their team and I messed up instantly. It's two, minute at, two minutes added. I can't lose this. No way am I going to... Oh my God, I might lose this. Hold on. I might lose this, you know. I might actually lose... We have lost this game. We have actually lost this game. I, I don't know how to describe this feeling, but I don't think I've ever been this, this disappointed with myself in career mode. I don't know how I've just bottled my first game in the second Bundesliga after my dad scored, Akin Labi scored, and then we messed up. And then we just messed up. I I'm pissed. I'm actually pissed. Wow. Okay. First game, terrible performance. Good. Good. Let's see what's happening here. Quite disappointed with that start to the season, I gotta say, man. I'm, I'm just disappointed in myself, really, in giving away that win as I did. Um, Kai van den Heuvel, can you please turn things around for me here, man? Ghana, coming in with another scat report. Please, someone big. Please, come on, just, just lift up my mood. I need something here. Anything. I beg, can I get anything? Oh my god, it's not going to be anything. A full scat report with absolutely nothing in it. That's... I'm just getting punished now. I'm really just getting punished. I'm going to move over into the next month, uh, which actually, hold on. Yeah, the transfer window is still open in that month. I want to get a scout report, something to lift up my mood. And we have a game against Dusseldorf, which I'm going to be simming because I want to see if this team is capable of doing things by themselves. No, he lost two games. He lost two games. Oh, okay. So simulation wise, we're getting absolutely destroyed. Game wise, we got destroyed. The second Bundesliga, lol. I was talking about promotion, bro. Am I, who am I kidding? I should talk about not getting relegated. That's the worst start to the season that we could have asked for. And we're already down to an 81 rating. We got a loan offer for Haugland, of course. Loan to buy. It's so, so dumb. They, they put a new feature into the game. It's the only offer that you constantly get. Lads, just because the off, you have implemented that thing into career mode now, doesn't mean that we have to get it every single freaking time. All right, well, you squat monthly reports. Uh, let's take a look into these lads again. Anyone that dropped below the 85 potential mark is going to go. Uh, yeah, that's 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 a goner. 60, 63 rated though. Oh, hold on. I mean, he's very high rated. I can't really drop him that easily. He has good pace, good dribbling. Okay passing. Nah, I can't drop him that easily. He's too high rated, man. I can't do it. Uh, but we're going to try and accept that loan offer. We should have a youth squad monthly report though coming in. Where's that? Where's that then? Where's the one that I get on the... Oh, it's... A... Oh, no, it's both on the 18th now. Oh, I messed up. I put them both onto the 18th now. So it's 18th and 25th now for the youth squad reports. And I'm just I'm just a mess right now. I really, really just am. But take a look at Rogerson. Instantly realizes Akin Labi is a new player in the team and sees that he has to go up in his rating and instantly does so. Rogerson up to a 68 for himself, which is good to see. He's trying to compete with Akin Lavi Park, and obviously he has higher potential. Um, uh, Rogerson does have higher potential, and he is probably going to be growing more than him, but Park has started off well into his career here, and my dad has also gone up to a 67 rating, so it was the right decision to make to put him into the starting lineup, but we got to get better performances, guys, and this is a team that we used to be with in the third Bundesliga. It is a, a Pokal game, 
I'm going to try and get far in the DFB Pokal this time around. We're going to try and get, get as far as possible. So I'm just not going to skip this one just like that. Um, so yeah, that is going to be it for today's episode. I didn't think that it would start off that badly uh, this season. But one good thing is we have found ourselves an amazing talent in Akin Labi. He is now a part of our team. And we have changed the starting lineup a little bit. And my dad is finally now in a starting lineup. So hopefully good things to come. Our defense is the lowest rated part of our team. And we need to upgrade it as much as possible. Haas and Cariso need to go up uh, uh, right now. Right now, like literally now, they have to go up in ratings. But thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. I promise you, next episode, I'll do better and I'll do, I'll get some wins, okay? I'll try my best. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Tough start. <laughs> Take care. Peace.